Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 262. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about trends in U.S. real estate migration, and you're going to learn where people are moving from and to in the United States and how that impacts real estate prices long term. But before we get started, I want to let you know about another awesome podcast called Profit Boss Radio. Profit Boss Radio is hosted by MBA and certified financial planner Hillary Hendershot, who highlights inspiring women who have created success in their financial and professional lives. Each week, you can tune in and hear how women have paved the road to sustain success with both beliefs and actions. Check it out at ProfitBossRadio.com. Well, I want to share with you an article from Bloomberg Business Week. This was very interesting because it talked about the migration from the Northeast and the Midwest to the West and the South. And this has been the most people moving since 2005, according to the Brookings Institution. Almost 600,000 Americans moved to the West and South from the Midwest and Northeast last year. And the recovery has made it easier to relocate. Kenneth Johnson, a public policy professor at the University of New Hampshire, said, think of the recession as freezing people in place, and now that is thawing. So people are actually picking up and moving again. And aging baby boomers who have delayed retirement in the wake of plunging stocks and home prices are now back on the move again. So this is huge migration. Uh, The states that lost the most population were four states. New York lost the most at 191,367 people in 2016, and also New Jersey, Indianapolis, and California lost more than 50,000 people per state. Then we had people moving into the following states, Washington, Oregon, Texas, Arizona, Colorado, North Carolina, and Florida. In fact, Florida grew the most, adding 207,155 people. That's almost 600 people a day. That is crazy. The article says more people are back to moving south and west for better jobs, says IHS market economist Carl Kukendall. And there is retiree migration as well. So, People are moving toward the West and the South to those states I mentioned. Some other states that are doing well were Montana, Idaho, Nevada, Utah, and also Tennessee, South Carolina, Maine, New Hampshire, and South Dakota. Lots of interesting movement in the United States. The interesting reason for bringing this up is because Wealthy people really follow trends and use facts before investing. They look at, is my state a state that has people moving in or is my state a state that has people moving out? And also, if people are moving out, is this a time I should think about moving out and moving somewhere else as well? Or do I want to be selling my real estate later? If you have the option of moving sooner and you're in a state where people are moving out of, maybe you want to sell your real estate sooner rather than waiting two years to sell it, if that's possible for you. It's interesting to follow trends, to see where people are moving, and to always look at you know where people are going, what the trends are before you decide to make a long-term investment. Obviously, buying real estate can be a 30-year investment for many people, sometimes longer. And so you want to be thinking about where are you planning to live for that 30 years and what's going on in that particular state where you're living. So those are some things to give you some thought. 
not everybody can obviously change the state they're going to live in. And you're obviously not going to move to another state just because people are moving out of your state. But it is important to understand trends. It is important for real estate prices. Uh, It is important to know what's driving prices, i.e. new jobs and retirement migration. So those are some things you always want to think about and inform yourself about before you make long-term financial commitments, especially since your house is probably the most expensive investment you're ever going to make in your life. So important to know these things. Just wanted to fill you in on that and found this super interesting. I will post this article on my website at lindapjones.com. Just go to podcast 262. This actually has pictures of the states and pictures of uh, whether your state had people moving out of the state or moving into the state. So I will post that picture over on my website in the show notes there at lindapjones.com. If you haven't yet subscribed to the show, please hit subscribe and also leave me a review on iTunes or Stitcher Radio. I'd love to hear from you and what you think of the show. If you want to get your net worth moving in the right direction, get my 11 quick financial tips to boost your wealth. There are 11 quick things you can do so easy to get your net worth growing. You can get it at my website at lindapjones.com. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.